Old guy yells at me while I help his wife pick out a vibrator. So, if the title in my post history isn't self-explanatory I work in a sex store. The stories I could tell just for my year here could fill a book, particularly because I work in a rather methy small town in Canada. I also work late shifts most nights so, it gets. Interesting. Anyways tonight I had two fine glossy-eyed specimen enter my store and they set off a few retail red flags immediately, so I kept an eye out, but offered my assistance and didn't bother them while they looked around. For some context, everything in my store is under a magnet lock so I have to come over and unlock whatever product they are wanting off the hook. They asked me to come grab a few items off the wall and put them behind the counter while they continued to browse. As I head back to the counter I hear a telltale cardboard ripped and see that the lady had ripped a box of lingerie off the hook and was examining it. While swaying drunkenly mind you, I walked over and gently asked for it back from her so I could tape the product back up since the box was all mangled now and she didn't want it. As I'm turning around to do this she rips off another one. I turn around and calmly say hey could you just be careful not to rip the merchandise off? I can grab it anything if you want to look at it. She apologized immediately and slurred that she was just trying to see the back, I told her it was not an issue. Probably just heavy drunk hands, so I took both items back behind the counter to fix. As I did this, drunk hubby walks up to the counter and raises his voice at me as his wife continues to look around. Side note, I'm incredibly upbeat and cheery, that's just naturally how I am and it works great to de-escalate situations. So imagine me genuinely smiling and being helpful through all this. Drunk, D wife, W me, M. D, we're not spending any more beat money here. We would but we don't want to buy anything else from you. M, because I asked her very nicely to be careful with the products? D, it's not like she did it on purpose. I'm coming back tomorrow to speak to your boss. Me, okay for sure feel free. I'm just doing my job making sure stuff doesn't get damaged. Anything else I can help you with? My boss will honestly probably tell the guy to beep off. D, no. We're leaving. W, looking intently at the wall of vibrators wait hold on I like this one. D, babe let's go, we're beep leaving. Now. W, looking at three different vibrators wait. D, practically screaming at this point, no. Now. M, can I help you choose from any of those? D, I said we're beep going now. W, one more minute. Does this one recharge? Me, no, not that one. But I do have this one over here that's 40% off and is rechargeable. W, it comes in pink? Me, yup right here. W, and waterproof? M, absolutely. W, yeah, I'll take that. So he stands with his arms crossed and brows furrowed while I grab the products for them, then he has to fork over $350 for all the stuff they grabbed. I happily bagged it all and asked all the basic questions, followed up by my best wishes for a lovely evening. And smiled because he didn't say another word and I make commission smile. I'm honestly really looking forward to seeing if he tries to contact my boss tomorrow. Oh and I took down his license plate and gave 911 a little tip there's a possible drunk guy in a big truck who just left the sex shop smiles. Edit, my boss messaged me to let me know if dude calls and tries to complain he'll be asked kindly not to shop at our stores anymore. My boss doesn't put up with abuse of his staff and that's why I love him. This time of year, we're asking for your support for those suffering from a terrible disease, retail dyslexia. Cue Sarah McLachlan music every year. Millions of people are affected by this horrendous and life-shattering illness. Merely by entering a retail establishment, they are struck dumb and lose the ability to form any coherent thoughts. Asterisk show a woman standing in front of a sign. It reads, Children's Shoes. Asterisk, where are the kids' shoes? People just like Karen here, who minutes before were literate members of society, cannot seem to make the connections in their mind between the words in front of them and their meaning. Asterisk show a man, holding a package of socks. It reads, Eight pairs. Asterisk, excuse Excuse me, how many are in a pair? Here we see Larry, who is unable to recall simple information, and relies on others to perform the most basic arithmetic. Larry teaches high school calculus for a living, but once passing through the doors of this store, he cannot remember how many feet he has. Music intensifies with your donations, we can pay for therapy needed for the poor retail workers who must endo.
re the hardships of working with those suffering from retail dyslexia, as well as searching for a cure, asterisk cut to a shot of an impressive medical building, the sign in front reads the Van der Sloot Institute, asterisk asterisk cut to Dr. Van der Sloot, sitting behind a desk asterisk, here at the Van der Sloot Institute, we study the phenomenon of retail dyslexia, and are trying to develop a treatment for those suffering from this affliction, it seems that, upon walking past a pair of automatic doors, the IQ of the patient drops considerably, we're trying to narrow down the root cause, is it fluorescent light? linoleum floor tiles, does the presence of shopping carts play a factor, asterisk cut to a mock-up of a retail store, mannequins stand in place of workers, and a team of researchers in white lab coats make notes on clipboards as a confused shopper wanders around, looking for help asterisk, our teams are hard at work, trying to identify what triggers this mental phenomenon, but we need your support, asterisk cut to a man I, N a chair, his face has been blurred out, and his voice filtered to protect his privacy asterisk outside of a store, I'm a Harvard professor, I teach economics, for God's sake, but once I go shopping, it's as if I can't read the signs, once sob, once I had to ask the clerk why there was sales tax on my purchase, I remember being extremely indignant, insisting that I'd never heard of sales tax before, it was only in my car, heading home, that I realized what I'd done, asterisk cut to a tearful celebrity, stroking a small animal, the music swells to its peak asterisk, this time of year, incidents of retail dyslexia are at their peak, please, call the number at the bottom of the screen and donate now, help those afflicted with this disease find an end to their suffering, and help those that have to handle them as part of their job, thank you, in advance, asterisk fade to black, leaving the phone number for donations on the screen asterisk. How I kept my job after giving away $150 worth of product. For about a year in high school I worked at an international retail store in the US, employees of this company would get a 10% discount on merchandise, naturally I would use this anytime that I bought things for myself, however, as a cashier you see all different sorts of people in all different sorts of situations, I was seeing single mothers with several children who are buying baby food, wipes, diapers, clothing, etc. People who are in situations where they obviously cannot afford what they're buying but they have to buy it anyways, I had the bright idea of using my discount to help them out, on the register or I was logged into, using my ID card, do you see where this is going, it felt really good to see the looks of appreciation on these people's faces, so I kept doing it, I ended up doing it half a dozen times over the course of several weeks before management called me to the back room to have a chat, apparently, whenever you use your discount on a register that you're signed. Into it creates a red flag in the system, the manager who was supposed to be tracking that was on vacation for a week at the time and didn't catch it until I had already given away $150 worth of discounts, the two managers that were talking to me in the room brought me in there with the intent to fire me, they told me this afterwards, when they asked me why I did it I explained that I was only doing it for the people who clearly really needed the help, and what I was giving discounts on, they shared a look between themselves for a few seconds and I could see a silent exchange happen, they decided to keep me around, edit, thank you for my first awards, I have some other stories about my early life I just need to find a place to put them, thank you all. One of the best responses to a customer complaint I have ever seen. Some background a customer placed a $500 deposit using their credit card to start the process on an order, the customer cancelled the order a few days later and was well within the cooling down period, the order was cancelled, and the money was refunded to the card, this all happened within the same week back in December of 2019, the salesperson in question is one of our most successful sales people and last year almost made $200,000 in total compensation, truth be told, until recently no one had paid any attention to to this particular transcation, the sales manager at the start of October sent out a marketing email to all his past customers sharing some news in an attempt to generate some business. The customer from December of 2019 said he didn't want to do business with him, requested to be removed from the mailing list, first time he's requested this to our knowledge, which we did comply with, and accused the salesperson of stealing his $500. The salesperson checked the order, insured th. 
E-money was refunded as it should have been, even going out of his way to check with accounting who did confirm the refund was issued with no serious delay or issue. The salesperson advised the customer of this, to which the customer accused the salesperson of stealing his $500. The salesperson provided the customer with his manager's contact details and told the customer if he feels that strongly that he stole from him he should report him. The customer filed a complaint with us, we investigated the compliant, we determined that indeed everything has been done by the book and that the credit card used was actually a card in the customer's name. Basically no funny business took place. We however did invite the customer to provide bank statements if he feels like we didn't refund the money, and if we can't see the refund we will send him a $500 check. Generally when we do this the customer goes back, sees that we did indeed refund the money but they didn't notice it, the customer reject. Ted our response and demanded he be compensated and threatened legal action, over $500, it was escalated to our regional VP who reviewed the details and came to the same conclusion, to which the VP wrote this email, Dear customer it has come to my attention that you have accused person X of stealing $500 from you, you used your own credit card to place the $500 deposit and cancelled within the grace period which means you received a full refund, we have checked our accounting and everything appears to suggest that this is exactly what happened. We have invited you to provide evidence if you disagree with this statement and even went so far as to say if you can prove the money was never returned to you we would mail you a check in the amount of $500. You have failed to provide any evidence supporting your claims. Also, Mr. Salesperson is one of the most successful sales professionals in our organization and has over a 15-year track record of proven success. Salesperson has one of the high Guest customer satisfaction ratings in our organization by a substantial margin, in addition to it is impossible for our salespeople to steal customer deposits, our system simply does not allow for that, the fact that you have accused him of stealing your deposit with no evidence to back up your claim is disturbing, in response to this, you have decided to threaten us with a lawsuit, I have spoken to our lawyers and they have advised me if you wish to pursue legal action you should have your attorney contact them, the contact details are below, furthermore I have made the decision decision to blacklist you from ever being a customer of ours again. Please note any responses to this email will be forwarded to our attorney. I wish you all the best. I translated the email it wasn't written in English, but I printed out the email, and showed it to our salesperson and told him to block the customer's email. The time I told a mean old man to shut the f up and leave me alone. A couple years ago when I worked at a national hardware store chain I had an encounter with a mean older man, let me specify that when I say I worked at the store, I didn't work for the store, this is important later, I worked for the company that supplied the flowers and shrubs and trees, but I was always at that store when I worked, for some background, I'm pursuing a degree in forestry, minoring in horticulture, I've taken three quarters of the classes needed for a bachelor's in horticulture, for personal reasons I'm leaving it at that and coming back later for it, and I worked for two semesters in a plant biology greenhouse, conservatory on campus, I also keep well over a dozen plants on my own, all I mean by saying that is that I know how to water plants, I also know that when you water plants that are for sale, needing to look nice, and bunched together tightly and frequently shaded, you want to avoid drenching the foliage so the plants can breathe and take up water to avoid root rot and the foliage dying, presentable flowers get sold, rotting flowers do not, I was watering them by using a long handheld sprayer, shooting the water into my cupped hand and directing the water underneath the foliage with my hand, honestly I thought it was a clever move, since no one else watered them that way and a third of our stock seemed to be lost to rot, in comes the 60 year old man who tells me I'm doing it wrong, his wife is nearby, I ignore him, he tells me I'm doing it wrong again, I've had a long day by this point, it's hot and in the middle of the summer in the midwest, and I'm irritated, so I keep ignoring him, then he tells me that I'm wrong again and that I'm stupid for doing it the way I'm doing it, and that he's owned a commercial greenhouse for 30 years so he knows what he's talking about, after he told me I'm stupid for doing it this way, I turned to him and said sternly and loudly, shut the f asterisk 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 up and leave me alone, he stood there for a second, a brief 
moment of shock, and then he yelled, where is your manager, I'm going to report you, remember how I said that I don't work for the store, I looked at him and said, he oversees seven different stores in this part of the state, good luck finding him, it should also be noted that my boss was a woman, not a man, but I opted not to say that, at this point he was getting really flustered, his wife came over looking sheepish and put her hands around his arm and gently started pulling him away, nothing ever happened, so I assumed he either couldn't find someone who cared or didn't tell anyone. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.